Hi Jill, Joanna here. I just wanted to talk to you about how to post a picture in Blackboard in the content editor. So here you can see I have a reply for your post in the faculty profile area of the course. So here you've got your post. What you've done here is great. You've, in, you've put in a connection for your file, your JPEG file, and you've used this button, I assume, or you used this attach file button. Both of them work really, really well, and that's a great way to attach a photo. All your student has to do is click once to see that photo. If you want to embed a picture, what you can and you can embed several at once, is you can click this button, which is the insert edit image button. So let's click it together. It looks like a little landscape photo. And here I'm going to browse my computer and I happen to have a picture on my desktop because I've been working on my own bio picture for my avatar. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to choose it. And you'll see the link path show up right here. That was the last place that I've used it in the classroom. You need to describe it. Uh, that's useful for our courses. So I'm going to put in Joanna's picture as a title. Then I'm going to click Insert. The photo will post wherever you've left your cursor. Um, I'm going to consider that probably a little too big. So I'm going to click on it once so it highlights and you'll see these little boxes all around. You can use those boxes and just click and drag it in a little bit to make it smaller so you can size it. Click and drag, make it a little smaller depending on what you like, and then you have a photo embedded in your course or in your content editor. Um, depending on what you find, some photos with very, very high pixel counts are going to be difficult to embed. So what you can do is go here to Appearance and you can constrain the proportions of the photo. If you notice that your photo isn't shrinking and it's stretching out the appearance, you can make the pixel count smaller. Let me know if that's happening to you and I can suggest a better pixel count for you based on what the post is looking like. Usually you want to go for something smaller than a very, very big pixel count like a digital photo. Um, so we can we can guess best on what based on what you've got. Um, but usually you'll notice right away because your post will start to stretch out very, very long. Um, that usually happens when you use things like iPhoto or sometimes when you've got something di downloaded directly from a digital camera. You want to go down to something like 15% of the original size. So, and it posts beautifully in Blackboard, but it doesn't stretch out the post. So if you have it, I'm going to cancel here. And I'm going to delete this photo because we don't really need it right now in the course. And I will post this video for you to help out. And let me know if you have any trouble. And I'd be happy to help you or anybody else move forward with this because this is a really useful tool for your discussion boards. Because when we use visuals in the discussion board, it always helps us to connect with our students with different learning styles. Have a great day. Bye-bye.